Hello and welcome to my collection of ancient Greek and Roman coins depicting both Venus and Cupid. Venus is the counterpart of the ancient uh, Greek goddess Aphrodite. Cupid is the Roman equivalent of the uh, ancient uh, Greek god Eros. Basically, these are different ancient coins, including that of Julius Caesar, which was is actually pretty very rare and was minted for one month while uh, he was named dictator from February to March of 44 BC. That features Venus holding the victory. Very beautiful coin. This one is actually an interesting depiction of Venus, where it shows her uh, half. Uh, half nude but buttocks uh, off in a very interesting type. This one is a Venus Celestis, a big bronze coin, and here are some depictions of arrows. Now that we had a, a quick review of these uh, coins, let's look at each one more closely. First coin has Venus in a chariot that is pulled by two cupids and on the left side there's a lyre. On the front you have Mars. Notice it says Caesar here. This is actually a coin of Julius Caesar's family. This is a relation to Julius Caesar. Also interesting, this is a coin of the grandfather of Mark Antony. Here's the description to it. Next, we're going to look at a coin that depicts Venus on the front. And on the back you have Victory in a quadriga, a four horse chariot. Here is the description for it. It's from circa 46 BC. Next, this is a coin of Roman Empress Plautila and it has Venus little cupid on the left side she's holding the golden apple uh, the significance of the golden apple is this is that uh, she received the golden apple from Paris when he had to choose between who is the fairest of them all and Paris picked Venus as the fairest one of them all and what happened is that in regards to that in honor of that she granted him the love of Helen Helen was you know the Queen whom, uh, you know, whose face launched a thousand ships and the Trojan War. So the Romans believed themselves to be the descendants of Aeneas, who fled the burning, uh, you know, Troy and went and founded actually the Ro Rome. And um, very interesting. So that's Plautila and that's Venus holding the apple, the, pa the pa palm branch, which symbolizes victory. And uh, this one is actually Venus um, Epitaph of Victrix. She's a pretty much a Venus the Victory Bringer. And that's a beautiful depiction of Cupid on the left hand side. So basically Venus and uh, Cupid, they're you know very much inseparable on ancient coinage. Next, we have a coin with Venus in uh, Biga, which is a two horse chariot with Cupid flying above. Notice this type of coin is actually a ser serrate denarius. The, the idea of this was that it's supposed to, you know, protect the coinage to be, uh, you know, um, of good silver quality. Here's the tag to it. That's circa 106 BC. Next. Next we have a coin of Julia Domna which it features Venus Felix. She again holds the apple and she's pulling on her dress over here. And that's Empress Julia Domna. Here's her tag. Next. This is a beautiful coin actually featuring the Gemini uh, twins. In Roman religion they were called the Dioscuri twins. One of them being um, mortal and the other one being immortal. And one of them um, decided to have him placed in the sky. Pretty much Dioscuri Gemini was a reflection of the night sky. But here you have Venus with little Cupid on her back and holding scales. 
beautiful depiction. Here is the tag to that coin. Dioscuri, Venus. Next is a coin of Galeria Valeria. Veneri Vic V. Uh, pretty much, this is another one celebrating the victory. This is Galeria Valeria. This is a much later time period from circa 310 AD. Next. This is a coin of Roman Emperor Caracalla. What's also interesting about this coin, you see the radiate head? It's a more scarce type of denomination than the denarius which had the laureate head on it. Here she's actually holding Victory, the winged goddess, uh, you know, the Roman equivalent of Nike. Uh, this, a spear and a shield. Also celebrating Victory, Venus of Victory. Next is a Roman Republic coin featuring Venus on the front and a Grainier, the Fasci, and a Caduceus. The Fasci, you know, symbolized pretty much a, a bunch of rods. When they're held together, they can't be broken. And uh, Caduceus, commerce, this is grain, you know, food, plentiness. And we have a beautiful depiction of Venus's portrait over here. Here's a tag to it, 83 BC, ancient uh, Roman Republic coin. Next, this one deserves to be looked at again. So Venus holding victory, and here's a portrait of Julius Caesar. The portrait of Julius Caesar, this is pro probably the most famous uh, Julius Caesar coin in existence, which was minted during his lifetime, and it features his portrait, and it pretty much uh, it, it declares him a perpetual dictator. Next, this is an interesting depiction of Venus from behind. This is one of the more desirable types, where it's not just Venus, it's also Venus in her full beauty and womanly, um, womanliness with her like buttocks half uncovered. And that's Julia Domna on the front. Here's the description. Next, Venus Silestis. This was this is one kind of interesting. Uh, this is more of like a Venus of my understanding it means celestial or heavenly. So of the pretty much Venus of the stars. You know you have a little star on the, on the side, different epithet, and this is a Julia Soamius. Next, this is actually a bronze. Um, coin of the Cistercius de de denomination. Notice it's the much, pretty much the largest bronze coin the Romans issued. Here you have Venus holding little baby Cupid over here. And that's Julia Mamaya. This is a nice big heavy large coin. Here's a tag to it. Very interesting. Next. Where would we be without her a son and helper, Cupid. Let's start with this coin. This is an ancient Greek coin featuring Eris on the front and Nike on the reverse. Nike was the goddess of victory. She, she was the one that brought victory to uh, celebrated, uh, you know, somebody winning, uh, let's say, an athletic contest. Later, she was adopted as Roman goddess victory, whom uh, celebrated the Roman victory, victories in, you know, in battle. Here's a tag to it, circa 112 BC. Next, we have a coin depicting uh, Cupid on the very front of a Roman Republic coin. And back you have a temple. 75 BC, Jupiter Liberty inside the temple. And we have Cupid. Very beautiful coin. This is probably the most beautiful depiction of uh, Eris I have. You know, the Greek equivalent of uh, Cupid. Look at the quality of that coin. You know, you have, you have his head, you have his wings. And on the back you have the headdress of Isis. 
the ancient Egyptian goddess. You know, so this is kind of an interesting coin, uh, symbolizing, you know, love and, um, you know, Isis, which is also very interesting. Combining two different uh, type of um, symbologies. Very cool coin. All right, next. This is a coin from Cartea in Spain. It features Taiki on the front, the goddess of luck, and, you know, pretty much uh, a personification of the city. And on the back, you actually have Cupid riding a dolphin. Incidentally, there's even a Roman Republic uh, issue that has Cupid riding a dolphin. That's very highly sought after. And next, this one. This coin may actually may be a unique one. I've, I haven't never seen this type from this city. What's interesting about this city is Aphrodisias in Caria. Aphrodisias actually means a city of Aphrodite. Uh, and on the back, it features um, arrows holding holding the, the torch. And on the front, you have Bull or the Council, the ruling body of the people personified. You see, it says Iera Bull. Here's a description of the coin. There's a link to an article with all these coins featured and links to where you can actually get your own collection started. My name is Elias Lobin. I'm an expert, dealer, and enthusiast. I love to share the history of the world. This is my eBay store. And uh, yeah, check out the article and um, read more and like this uh, video. Have a fantastic day, my friends.